Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for everyone here and online. Hi, my name is Sebastian. And I am Shah. Oh, Shahid, you can call me Shah. And we'll be presenting our uh, AI uh, yoga trainer. Um, yeah. Let's get it. So the pandemic has been a very big motivation for many people to start practicing uh, yoga at home. And um, many studios and uh, or many yoga studios and fitness studios uh, uh, started offering online courses to people to be able to join from everywhere. I, for example, myself was joining uh, yoga courses with big famous teachers from the US, from the UK and all around the world. I'm just saying this being a yoga teacher. Um, <clears throat> and the big difference between practicing yoga in a fitness or, or like at a yoga studio and online is the fact that online there's no one to correct your posture, no one to give you the right um, um, uh, alignment on how to be in, in this or that asana. And this could result on the long run in having more or less bad uh, posture and also could cause uh, some pain in the body. So we wanted to tackle this issue. So uh, the idea that we wanted to present here is to be able to keep a healthy practice in mind and how we can use AI in doing this. So our aim was to develop an app that is able to lead a, a yoga sequence and at the same time, correcting the person who is practicing through voice command. So for this project, we created a yoga sequence of five different asanas with transitions in between. And these asanas uh, form the sequence that is led by voice, which we'll demonstrate at the very end. So talking about the test, uh, technical uh, aspects, we were able to identify uh, key points in the body and these key points were, I can show them here, were uh, the main skeleton for the um, AI to uh, measure the distance between the, these key points and identifying where this person is at the moment in their practice. Here's an example. It's an asana called Warrior One. This is on the left side, you see how it should be. And on the right side is how the AI was able to detect the alignment. This is a perfect 100% uh, warrior one asana. And so not a lot of people are able to do this, but this is how it should be. How does the app work? So the app is able to identify the asana through the, these main key points, as mentioned before, and then setting a score more or less. If this uh, pose is now in the correct uh, or close to the correct uh, asana through uh, the voice command. And these commands are connected to the breath. So uh, the, um, the app is leading with an inhale and exhale as if there's a teacher in the room or in the class who is teaching this class or this sequence. Um, yeah, and the app is able to identify the current asana. So what, whichever asana you're doing, the, uh, the app will be able to uh, uh, identify it. And um, yeah, once uh, it's able to calculate the angles and the alignment of the lines. So how does this app work, calculation work? Sebastian. Okay, I take over from here. <laughs> so I will explain the, the technical details about this project here. Okay, so the post detections um, for the movements um, are done uh, using MoveNet uh, and TensorFlow. So MoveNet um, is an ultra fast, as you can see here in this picture, for instance, uh, and accurate model that detects uh, 17 key points. So these are these uh, body key points that uh, Shah just, just showed. <clears throat> um, and uh, here's the architecture of uh, MoveNet. So MoveNet um, uses a feature uh, extractor um, uh, called uh, Mobile Net uh, version 2, which is a lightweight uh, convolutional neural network that was designed to work uh, 
on, on smartphones. <clears throat> and uh, it also comprises of uh, uh, four uh, prediction heads um, that are attached uh, to the feature extractor. And that makes the, the uh, key point detection um, very accurate and also very fast. Um, so we next, we train uh, a post classification model um, using uh, these uh, post detection um, from MoveNet and TensorFlow. Um, so in brief, so here's a workflow that mainly consists of two steps. So first is uh, we obtain the key points from training data that we um, uh, scraped from uh, Google images. Um, in total, we, we obtained around 400 images for each of these uh, asanas. And then, um, uh, yeah, along with the ground truth pose labels, uh, we stored them as a CSV file as an input um, to make um, post classification and train a post classification model that takes the key point coordinates as, uh, as its input and outputs then the predicted labels. <clears throat> so here are the results of this uh, post classification. So in total, we had around 2000 images. 90% um, of them we have uh, chosen for training and validation. And then on the right here, you can see a confusion matrix that shows the model performance. Um, so it's about 10% of the, uh, of the uh, of the images <clears throat> that were used uh, for uh, as test images. And you can see that it's actually performing quite well. Um, so next, um, what we implemented is a, a post-correction algorithm. So in order to make a post-correction suggestions, uh, we determine key points uh, from reference poses. So basically perfect poses and then calculate the angles um, for each of the joints. And then we also store them in a CSV file that we can then use um, in the algorithm for the, making the uh, comparisons. So next we then compare the key points of the reference poses uh, with key points that are determined from the camera frames. Um, and then um, we measure yeah, some uh, some values like uh, the mean square error of the angles, uh, the cosine similarity, or just the angular differences between the reference pose and the pose that was uh, captured by the frame. Yeah. So um, using key point calcu um, calculations to make a specific uh, pose correction suggestions. So here's an an example. Um, so on the left, you can see that for the perfect pose, you can see the uh, angle um, is uh, 90 degree on the on the right leg, and um, instead the the uh, the pose that was uh, captured by the frame only has a 110 degrees. So basically, the correction suggestion that is made by the voice commands then would say uh, bend the front knee, and you can also see that uh, one of the arms is not high enough. So then uh, the, another voice command would also say that um, the, the arm should, should be lifted a bit higher. Um, so <laughs> the next, uh, what we implemented is uh, this uh, yoga sequence. So here, um, each sequence step uh, starts with a key, point, a key pose um, identified uh, through pose classification and uh, mean square error score. And for each of these uh, key poses, um, correction suggestions are then made. And once the, um, the score is uh, below a certain threshold, um, then the sequence uh, continues. And this um, continues until the entire sequence is uh, completed. Um, so this, of course, is just a proof of principle. Um, so in in general, this can be trained on uh, on many on many many um, different asanas, and this uh, we are also aiming for the future. And then we would like to develop this further into a, a mobile app that can run on mobile phones. Um, so next, <laughs> we will demonstrate how this is actually working. Inhale, bring the arms over the head, palms touching. Exhale, fold down Uttanasana.
Inhale, come up to the fingertips, straighten the back. Exhale, step the right foot to the back, left foot to the right, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, snake to the front, little cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, seat to the heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot in between the hands, back heel on the mat, warrior one. That's correct. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. One more inhale, exhale, open the warrior two. Keep the front knee on top of the ankle and extend the arms to both sides of the room. Look towards the fingertips of the hand that's in front. That's correct. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Inhale, extend the front leg, exhale, lean forward, dive down, trikonasana. That's correct. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Inhale, press with the feet, come all the way up. Exhale, bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, dance back, dancing warrior. Exhale, hands on the mat, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, snake to the front, little cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, seat to the heels, downward facing dog. Inhale, walk with baby steps to the front of the mat. Exhale, fall down, Uttanasana. Inhale, come all the way up, arms over the head, palms touching, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, arms alongside the body, Tadasana. That's correct.